At the end of class, Madame Lucille announces the parts. Bree and I sit together. All my fingers are crossed. I can hardly stand the suspense. At pickup time, I tell my dad the awful news. I am a tree. And I'm just an oyster, Bree says. My dad acts like this is so thrilling. Dad, you don't understand. My costume will be brown, I explain. There is no way to look fancy in brown. Later, we have a tea party to cheer ourselves up. I say, Cheery, that's French for darling. You are going to be the greatest oyster ever. <laughs> Bree says, Nobody will be a better tree than you. <laughs> At the next dance class, we practice our parts. And guess what? I'm not just a plain old tree. Madame Lucille tells me to pretend I am a weeping willow. Willows are very graceful, Madame says. Their branches swoop and sway and swirl in the wind. I swoop and sway everywhere I go. I make my face look very sad because I am a weeping willow. A week later, there is startling news. Startling is fancy for surprising, only in a bad way. Savannah, who is one of the mermaids, has sprained her ankle. She cannot dance. But Madame Lucille tells us Savannah can still be in the ballet. She will be one of the oysters. And Bree will take Savannah's place as one of the mermaids. Say what? Bree throws her arms around me. She is beaming. That's smiling from ear to ear. I'm so happy for you, I say. Only I don't really mean it. I liked it much better. When neither of us got to be a mermaid. At home, I stuff my beautiful costume in the back of my closet. My mermaid days are over!